Hey, I'm Nate Savage, and in this guitar lesson, I'm gonna share some tips with you for building finger dexterity. I get a lot of emails from students all the time that just tell me, Nate, I'm having trouble making these chords. My fingers aren't as flexible as they used to be, or they're just, the dexterity isn't there, right? So in this lesson, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some warm-ups that you can do to kind of get the blood flowing in your hands, and then I'm gonna teach you a really cool exercise that's gonna build dexterity in your fingers so you can tackle some harder chords. Jumping right into playing without warming up can be kind of dangerous, especially the older you get. So right now I'm gonna teach you a couple of little stretching exercises that I do sometimes before I start you know, working on any chords or any other kind of practicing. The first one is to just stick your arm out and then pull it back really lightly with your other arm. You don't wanna do it too hard, you don't want it to hurt. You just wanna get a good stretch going on there. You wanna get some blood flowing and limber up a little bit. Hold it there for 30 seconds, you know, and just get ready to start playing. Another thing you can do is make a fist and come down the other way. And again, don't do it too hard. You don't want to hurt yourself. You just want to kind of loosen up. It's kind of like a runner before he starts running, right? He just does some stretches. So you can do that on both hands. It takes a little while, but it feels good. And you're going to notice that it feels a little bit better and the blood's flowing when you actually go start to practice. So take some time to do that. And the second one that I like to do is to just massage each one of my fingers out. And the older I get, the, the more I enjoy this, the better it is. It feels good, and it just gets my hands ready to play and make some chords or scales or whatever, right? I do that on each finger on both hands. It doesn't take long, and it's really worth it. That way you're warm, you're not gonna hurt yourself, or at least you have a smaller chance of hurting yourself or injuring yourself when you're playing, right? So when you're doing these stretches, you shouldn't feel any pain. If you do stop, you know, go see a doctor if anything like that comes up or persists. The idea is just to get your hands loose and get ready to do some more practicing. Also, drinking a good amount of water on a regular basis can be really good for your flexibility and dexterity. Now that we've got a couple of warm-up things out of the way, I wanna show you an exercise that I use occasionally to help build some dexterity in my hands. It's a pretty simple, you don't have to do it for a long time, you can do it for you know two or three minutes as a warm-up exercise. And I'll just show it to you. You can be on any two frets, but you're gonna start with your first and second fingers on the D and G strings. And my first finger is on the fifth fret of the D. My second finger is on the sixth fret of the G. I'm gonna play those two notes. I play it with my pick and my middle finger. And then I'm gonna switch. My first finger is gonna to come to the fifth fret of the G, and my middle finger is gonna to come to the sixth fret of the D. And I just switch back and forth between those two notes over and over again for however long I want. From there, you're gonna widen this kind of finger pair exercise out to the next string set. So your first finger is gonna grab the fifth fret of the A string now, and your middle finger is gonna grab the sixth fret of the B string. You're gonna pluck those two notes, and then switch them. First finger, fifth fret of the B string, middle finger, sixth fret of the A string. And just go back and forth between those two notes. Once you've done that a few times, widen it one more, just go to the outside E strings, right? First finger, fifth fret of the low E, second finger, sixth fret of the high E, and play those two notes. And then alternate over and over again. However many times you wanna do that's fine. I usually work my way out and then work my way back in, so it would look like this. Once you do that, you're gonna apply the same idea to the other finger pair options that you have available to you. So by that, what I mean is now you can use your first and your third fingers. So leave your first finger on the fifth fret there, and your third finger can come grab the seventh fret of the G string. Then alternate. Then move it out of string pair, go to the A and B strings. then move it out one more string set, go out to the E's. The next finger pair that you have available to you is your first and fourth fingers. So leave your index finger back here on the fifth fret, and then your pinky can come grab the eighth fret. And again, 
go with the inside two strings, the D and the G, and then just alternate. Then move it out a string set, so the A and the B strings with those same fingers. And then finally to the outside E strings. The next finger pair you would go to and do this whole exercise is your second and third fingers. And you would just do the exact same thing and work your way out on the strings. From there, you could do your second finger and your fourth fingers and continue the exercise from there. The last finger pair, and probably the hardest one for most people, is gonna be your third and your fourth fingers, just because your pinky is pretty weak, and your third finger, it just has control issues, right? It's hard to control, so do the same thing, go through the same exact exercise here. So this is a great exercise to building finger dexterity. If you can go through this exercise and get it down, playing a G chord or a C chord is gonna be a breeze for you. And you know, you're not gonna to wanna to lock yourself away in a room and practice this for an hour at a time, but it's a good warm up exercise that, you know, doing it for five minutes a day for a good period of time, it's gonna help your dexterity and your fingers is gonna make playing chords and switching between chords easier for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope what you learned here helps you to start building some dexterity and flexibility in your guitar playing. If you'd like to see more lessons like this, you can either like the video or leave a comment below and let me know. I just launched a brand new guitar lesson series that you can get right now for free. Just go to guitarsystem.com slash free dash series and I'll see you there.